when it comes to studying abroad the most popular picks among indian students is the it field right however considering the current uh, recession that is going on it kind of gets tricky to predict how the it industry is going to evolve so in this video what i did is i covered you know the top 5 masters degrees which are non it i have guided over my entire career uh, students to more than 25 different specializations so i kind of uh, have an idea of how the careers are how the salaries are and uh, how do you progress uh, so here are my top 5 picks in this video hey as you go through this video if you have any questions about a certain field do comment them below it's hard to cover everything in a 5 minute 10 minute video so just comment them below and i'll come up with an answer as i always do if i haven't covered your specific field do comment that below as well uh, so that i can address them in my future videos okay now let's get started my first pick would be biotechnology if you consider us uh, it is one of the biggest biotech and biopharma industries in the world both consumption wise and also manufacturing wise as well for those of you who don't know biotechnology uh, it is about manufacturing bio products right these bio products could be medicines yeah uh, they could be fertilizers in the agriculture industry or they could be industrial products like beer etc the biotech industry in itself is very diverse in the sense that uh, it has very different different kinds of careers and you can uh, pick careers based on what your interests are for example uh, with a masters in biotech you can get into research and development you can get into product development and as you gain experience you can also get into product management roles you can get into manufacturing you can get into sales and marketing and also pursue data analytics etc based on which appeals to you the most salaries in this field vary depending on your qualifications and interests if you have just finished your undergrad uh, you earn uh, somewhere between $60,000 to $75,000 if you are a masters graduate you can earn upwards of $80,000 to up to 110,000 a little higher than that if you have a phd degree also it's around the same range maybe a little on the higher side now if you gain experience say if you have 5 plus years of experience in this field then you can earn upwards of $150,000 So this is my top pick because of the diversity of jobs it offers and its growth potential over the next 10 to 20 years. Now similar to biotechnology there are other degrees such as uh, bioinformatics or computational biology which is also great if you are an agriculture uh, background student you can pursue food science and technology as well which also you know lead to similar kind of jobs. You can get into this field obviously with a bachelor's degree in biotechnology or food science and technology or bachelor's in agriculture. You can also get into this field with bachelor's in biology, molecular biology or chemistry. Next on the list is finance and quantitative finance. Now for finance folks, I really don't have to tell how big an industry it is in USA and the world over. Within USA itself, finance industry employs a little over 9 million people, which is twice that of USA's IT industry. A very popular specialization within finance is quantitative finance, also known as financial engineering, which is offered as a master's degree. by almost all the top universities in the USA now the great thing about this field is uh, people with background in sciences mathematics engineering can also apply to this field in fact i have guided so many electrical engineering civil engineering mechanical engineering chemical engineering students to a masters in financial engineering apart from obviously finance background students why is this because financial engineering uh, masters degree requires a background in mathematics which is offered by almost all the engineering courses in india now studying financial engineering is slightly different from the pure finance field in the sense that it places high emphasis on maths and coding but however post graduation the salaries for financial engineering grads is also pretty nice the average pay is above $120,000 which is equivalent to that of computer science graduates I highly recommend this field if you are good at mathematics and have an interest in exploring finance. If you want to know more about quantitative finance or financial engineering, do comment below and I'll send you relevant links. Now, this uh, list would not be complete without this particular course. Now, with the advancements in artificial intelligence and uh, pretty bad geopolitics going around, every country is investing more in this particular field that is semiconductors, integrated circuits, also termed as VLSI now i won't be talking too much about this particular specialization because i've done an entire detailed video about this field uh, the jobs uh, the salaries uh, the best locations universities etc etc so do check that out you'll find it somewhere over here the next on the list is cybersecurity 
wait, I know I said I won't be covering IT related fields, but cybersecurity is also a field uh, for people with EC and triple background because, uh, you know, you need solid background in networks, uh, cloud computing, etc., which is all part of uh, the EC syllabus. And also cybersecurity jobs are not as affected as software developer or data analyst jobs in the USA. So it is sort of recession proof at the moment. However, people with a very good skill set are the ones who will be comfortably finding jobs in this field, which means apart from just certifications, there's so many certifications in this field, apart from you know, pursuing solid certifications, you should also keep an eye out for advancements in blockchain technology and artificial intelligence. Now, I have done an entire video on the cybersecurity specialization as well, uh, the link to which you'll find here. Next on the list is construction management. Now, when it comes to content on studying abroad, I feel civil engineering field is one field that has been heavily neglected. However, please remember, every developed country in this world needs a major infrastructure revamp uh, because the existing infrastructure is getting old and over the next decade or so, uh, all these uh, projects need to be redone. So there will be a huge demand for skilled workforce in civil engineering. Now, you can do multiple specializations. You can get into structural engineering, you can get into geoinformatics systems, you can get into you know water resource management, sustainable and environmental engineering, etc, etc. Or the topic of this video, construction management management field. Now, even for construction management, I've done a very detailed video. You can find the link uh, here as well. Please remember that, you know, although the salaries for civil engineering graduates is, might not be as high as, let's say, computer science graduate, the jobs are very, very stable and always consistently growing. So this is a great stream to pick, if at all you come from that background. Now, these are my top five picks, but there are other worthy mentions as well. Of these, there is biomedical engineering, there is industrial engineering, there is supply chain management, there is molecular science and nanotechnology, there is operations research, there is food science and technology, there is game design and development, etc, etc. Now, if at all uh, you're someone who is interested to pursue a master's degree, uh, who wants to know more about careers, etc, do get in touch with us. Our team is experienced in counseling students and also guiding them to the right stream that has good career growth and a stable career outlook. So do get in touch with us. Uh, you'll find all our contact details in the description. Talk to you soon.